As a new yoga teacher, I remember feeling anxiety over the seemingly simplest things. I wasn't quite sure how to do or what to say and you know, practice wasn't quite there yet and some of the stuff seemed very overwhelming. Today I'm talking about the anxiety I used to have over getting people out of Shavasana. What do you say when people are lying down and then you want them to get back up and you want them to still feel calm and comfortable? How do you say it? Um, it was just, it was something that I was like, I just don't know. And through years of practice, uh, I will share with you my script for getting out of Shavasana. So I typically, with a calm voice, will say first, start to take a deep breath. Make sure you pause there. And then wiggle your fingers and toes. And again, make sure you pause. Give them some time in between these phrases so that they're able to do what you tell them to do. It's nice to, to take, take your time. So wiggle your fingers and toes. Pause. And then reach your hands overhead or behind you towards the back room and give yourself a long stretch. So you reach long, front and back. If everyone's lying down, can you imagine Shavasana? Reach back. And then roll onto your side with bent knees, using your arm as a pillow or whatever's comfortable. And you can say right or left side, depending on what you'd like to do. Typically in the morning, it's rolled to your right side. In the evening, it's rolled to your left side. Or just roll to your favorite side. Pause. Let them, let them hold a few breaths in that sideline position because that can be very comfortable and calming. And you're saying this with a very comfortable and calm and soothing voice. Nothing that's too fast. In fact, slow your voice down more than you think you should. And then after pause there, you would say, press up to a comfortable position or comfortable seated pose, hands at your heart. Then your personal closing mantra or om or namaste. Thank the students for coming. Usually what I do is say, take a deep breath, reach up overhead, connect your hands, hands to your heart, exhale. Thank you for joining in this evening's yoga practice. Have a super awesome day. Namaste. And then you bow and they say namaste and that's done. So go through, go through that one more time. Take a deep breath, pause. Wiggle your fingers and toes, pause. Reach your hands overhead and give yourself a long stretch. Pause. <laughs> Roll onto your side with bent knees using your arm as a pillow. Pause. Press up to a seated, comfortable seated pose with your hands together at your heart. Pause. Take a deep breath in and out or an ohm. Thank you for joining in this yoga practice. Namaste. Easy. So you can adjust that to your liking, to whatever you need. Just know that it doesn't have to change class to class. It can be the same thing every single time. Again, in fact, I recommend that. Um, it can be really nice to know that that is your, your closing, whatever that might be for your students and for yourself so that you don't have to think about it. It soon becomes second nature and just automatic to do that. Hope that was helpful. You can find more tips like this and how to create a yoga class over uh, by downloading my yoga class sequencing guide or 10 steps to class creation guide. This is part of step 10, which is Shavasana or ending your class. Um, so if you want more of that, just head over to ashesyoga.com forward slash sequencing and you can go ahead and download it. Let me know if this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.